Hey folks, it's Ritgar here, how you doing? I have finished doing the turning. I made a slight alteration to this SIP spider right here and it is now working perfectly. And by slight alteration, I may have, may have just overdone it just, just a smidgen and I will show you now what I mean. Um, you'll also see in a little while where I've gone a little bit too far around the edges with it. We're going to have to do a, a little bit of tidying up before we can continue on. But if you watch carefully out to the side and you see how far over it's changing <laughs> over on the side over there. So yeah, when I went sort of closer to the field's edge, it basically went down through and did it sort of spread it out a little bit further than I originally intended. So because of that... Um, the all of the hay and everything has gotten spread too far but it doesn't really matter now because that job is done so I can sell the sip spider and we can go on with the next bit what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go around the edge with the baler and I'm gonna try to sort of tidy it up a little bit so if I sell that one a minute there we go and back out of there now I'm just going to take this John Deere and I'm going to move this one over to the shop so that it is ready for our next task and I'm not actually going to do anything with that at the moment if we uh, come through this way right I want this one and we're just going to do a little bit of baling just to start off with so that we can gather up basically I just I kind of just want to tidy up the edge of the um, of the map just a little bit so that um, we can then sort of go on with the next bit because you know I said that we would try to do raking today that is what I'm still hoping to do but I do need to tidy up these edges first so my question for this week is what do you how much longer do you want me to stay on this map for I have got um I've, I've sort of been keeping an eye on this uh, 16 times map that is being made that is based in Australia and that one does look absolutely sensational I'm really looking forward to that one coming out I will play that one at some point on this unrealistic series and we're also keeping an eye out now for the new DLC the platinum DLC that is going to be released very soon and um, it's actually going to be released on the 14th of November so I'm going to say very soon it's about two months away so we've got that one to come as well so my question is do you want me to move on from this map in the next couple of weeks do you want me to stay on this map until the Australian map is released the 16 times one and then move to that one next or would you rather I move, stayed on this map for another couple of months and then moved on as soon as the new DLC is released and we do our first few episodes on a new map on um, the uh, the, the South American map, the, the one with all the sugar beet, uh, not sugar beet, sugar cane and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I don't know. You, you might not want me to do sugar cane and everything as an unrealistic thing. It's some, it's, it's some people are going to really like it and some people are not. Obviously, it's kind of a, a personal preference type thing. Uh, but anyway, it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. And you can see quite clearly now that um, this is what's happened with the hay. So I'm, I'm able to stick quite nicely to the sides of this, which is actually really, really good. Um, and we can gather up some of this. Something very bizarre that did happen is when I came to do the turning here, um, you remember we set the uh, the big bud turning and it was going in one direction but it was kind of it was moving it a little bit now if you look over here let me just show you we'll walk over to this um, it, it left some massive great big piles of hay so what I think it did was it actually put grass out behind it but then accumulated all of the hay in the hay turner and then deposited it in a huge great big pile at the end of the field and I don't really know why it did that I can think of no sort of logical explanation for that one, but it did. So I think what we've ended up with is we've got now more hay than what was originally um, in this field when it, it all kind of kicked off and started. What I'm thinking here is that I am actually going to have to get over to the other side of this gorge so that we can get the rest of the hay that is down there and I'm also not quite sure how much I'm going to be able to get here without sliding off the edge I don't really want to slide off the edge I also don't want to leave too much behind because there is an awful lot of hay that we've now got in this baler I don't want to slide down 
But I, yeah, I don't want to leave loads of stuff behind because of the um, the whole issues with lag and everything like that. When you leave too much of the of, of anything sort of left behind on the map. So what I think we no, I can't. I can't sort of teleport over, can I? But what I could do is if I come round over here, we'll just turn the baler off a second, and we'll go over onto the other side of the gorge. There's a little tiny bit here that we might might be able to drive across. And this is this is a very big might. I don't know if we're going to be able to get down there and up the other side. I'm going to just floor it, I think. We'll just, we'll just go for it. Whoosh. Go on. <laughs> no, it's absolutely not having that at all. And we are now going to be stuck, aren't we? I've got that. I'm in the mud. And it, it, this machine really doesn't like mud, does it? Oh, no. Maybe we, can, maybe we can back out. I might be able to. If I can... Even if... Maybe I can just sort of turn. <laughs> oh, no. I'm hopelessly stuck. We're going to lose the bail, aren't we? Right. i tell you what we'll do. Is if I press Y, that should empty out that bail. Because we had some issues last time we tried to do this, didn't we? So I want to get a bit closer. And I want to pick up that bail. Come up to the top here. And we'll place that one very carefully down there. We're, we're going to have to try to remember where these bales are. This is going to be the difficult bit. And then we go back to this one again, and if we fold it up now before we try to move, hopefully then we'll be okay. So we go to here, and then we press F11, and we move. We just want to jump up slightly, just up here, here into field 12. And let's just move the map a little bit. And there, we should be okay. It should unfold now because we don't have a bale stuck in it. So we're not going to have the little issue that we had yesterday with it not working properly. Start it up. He's going to drift a little bit, but that's okay. We can live with that. As long as he doesn't do too much in the way of drifting. Now that we need it desperately to not drift. No, 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 no. Don't slide into the water. Please don't, please don't. Uh, we go here and 12. Oh, it did. It saved it. I am amazed. I thought that it because we'd driven into the water... It wasn't going to actually rescue it, but it did seem to. Right, let's try, let's try that again. This time, I'm hoping that we can actually you know, get round this corner without causing any problems. It seems to be a little bit here that it's sticking on, ever so slightly. Oh, no, I need to lower that one. There. Right, we're going to end up leaving a little bit behind, but I can live with that. We, we're not too concerned about leaving a little bit behind. Just as long as we can get most of it. So, spin on round again. And we're going to do one more pass. And that should be just about all of it. I, there is another little bit up the other end, isn't there? But I don't think we need to worry about that too much. So, let's come round once more. There's that bit there. We're going to gather some of it. And get some of the stuff that's in the water. Now, we're, we're getting all of the rest of it, pretty much. See, it's right here. There's quite a thick sort of chunk of it right here which is to do with um, the bit that we we had to spread out further from over there um, that's okay now so we can stop the baler lift it up fold it and we'll teleport once more and now all we got to do is just finish going down the side of the field so if we just jump back over to this side and we can just finish our little trip around the outside edge of the field. And then we can get started on the next bit. And I've got some um, rakes to to use this time. And the rake is actually going to work really well. I have tested the rake. And it does a really fantastic job. So we'll be able to run down through. At least I'm hoping we will. Run through the field. And we're going to put a succession of tractors one behind the other. All on follow me gathering up all of the hay and sort of rolling it all into one. It only really what rakes in one direction. It's actually the completely it's in the opposite direction to the the way that you go with the hay turner. So we need to go from the bottom end of the field, the uh, the east side of the field and head west and that is the best way to do it. The gun the other way it didn't really work. Uh, there were issues with that. Now we've got another big piece up here where I moved the turner. There we go. I mean, it doesn't matter if we do leave some little bits behind. I think generally it is going to work quite well. It's just that we're not going to be able to work very well going in a complete circle around the field. What we might have to do is get to one end and then stop and move back down to the other end again. 
Um, but I think we can sort of figure out a way to work around, work through it all and make sure that it does actually operate properly. At least that's what I'm hoping. We just come up through here and the last little bit here, we do have a bale there on the road. I'm hoping that it's not going to be affected by it. Nope. No difference whatsoever. And then we've got a little bit over here that has drifted up on the road. And that is just where I turned the corner ever so slightly while I was using the turner. And you can see just how wide I set that thing. I think I did set it a little bit too wide. I think when I uh, started it up in the game, I thought, goodness me, this is, this is absolutely ridiculous. I, it really was a little bit sort of overkill, I feel, but it worked. So it's, that's, that's kind of the main thing. If, we could just get, if you get a little bit of a run up with this tractor going through the mud, it then works, but it, it doesn't like sort of stopping in the mud at all and it also doesn't seem to like running on a hill either it does have some serious issues with working on hills but we're getting there it's, it's getting through go on no 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 just just go along ever so carefully go on go on a little bit more <laughs> it really doesn't like it I don't know why I've set the I like I've increased the weight of the tractor so that it will stick a little bit more to the ground um, Although I am thinking that maybe in order to make it work a little better, I should raise the actual attach point, the attacher point on the tractor. If I was to lift that just a little tiny bit so that it's not right down the bottom there. I mean, yes, it's physically joining at the moment, but if I was to raise those attacher points up a little bit, it would put more pressure down on the tractor. I think at the moment what it does, it actually lifts the tractor a fraction. And I think that is half the problem with it. But never mind, it doesn't matter. We're going to stop with that one. And I'm thinking that we are going to, we're going to go back to the shop over here. And we're going to take a fleet of John Deere's. And we're going to put them onto a fleet of these hay turners over here. Now, the hay rakes, I should say. It's the, the rock one. I haven't really made any changes to this one other than increase the working speed of it ever so slightly. And it does seem to work quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 10 of these, so another 9 of them, and we're going to line them up in the field, and then we're going to get started with trying to roll them all into a line. So if we go here and whiz up through. Now, I can't remember where the John Deere is on here. We're also going to have minion weights. We have to have the minion weights on this. There's just no um, question on that whatsoever. So attachers, we want front linkage. We don't want if um, we're going to have a bigger engine, a wheel setup. We're going to go for rear twins. And I think we will buy that. It's a shame you can't do like a fleet purchase and say that you want to get um, 10 of them. But that's all right. We just keep going like this. So I think that's four. This will make five and six and seven, eight and nine and ten. We are eating through our cash ever so you know, at a good steady rate, we're eating through our cash at the moment. And there you go, there is your line of John Deere. So I will get the line of hay turners and the weights and everything else and get that all lined up here as well. And then you can take a quick look at it before I start moving everything up to the big field. There you go, there is the fleet all lined up. Let's just go and take a little stroll along the front of it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tractors lined up. Plus a line of minion weights already and waiting, and then a line of the rocks as well. This actually does look pretty cool, seeing them all just on the ground like this. I'm actually quite pleased with that. That is, that is, there's something about that, that the view of that, that is, that is quite sort of pleasing to the eye, isn't there? Yeah, I like that. Anyway, I'm going to start getting all of these hitched on together and I will teleport them up to the big field and then we can make a start with our actual turning. Uh, raking, I should say. Well, as far as I'm concerned, seeing a whole load of deer all gathered around a water hole, whatever it is, maybe it's just a giant salt lick, but um, yeah, there's nothing quite as heartwarming as seeing a lot of deers all gathered around just like that. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I love this. It's absolutely brilliant. And yeah, this is so going to be the screenshot for today. But uh, is that not just absolutely awesome? The, the, the yellow of the machine, the yellow of the rock, um, the rake on the back does go so well. And so do the minion weights. The minion weights fit with these John Deere's 
absolutely perfectly. This is such a beautiful picture. I am so pleased that we have all of these here lined up. We can zoom in. You can, you can look at them from aerial angles. Oh, this is such a beautiful picture. But anyway, I'm going to start getting all of these little beasties into the field up the top end. So what we need to do is, it's very noisy. There is one thing about this. It is very noisy. So we are going to take this one and we are going to jump it straight up to there. Then I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to jump it up to there just behind. And then I'm going to take the next one and I'll see you in a minute. Well, the next thing that we got to do is start getting them all unfolded and over here so that they can start uh, actually raking up the field. Now, I'm not actually sure which direction they're going to turn in. So if we just start this one up a second, that's perfect. They're all turning in the right direction because we need to go. It's that way that we've got to go up across the field in order to get them to rake properly. So and when we come back the other way, I don't know that it's going to work very well. So what I might do is I might just go up this side and then down the other side of the field. But then when we come back up this side, we'll kind of do that again. We will just repeat it. But what the plan is, is I'm going to put this one going and I'm going to put all the others on follow me directly behind this one. So I take this next one and I will drive over. We'll get it unfolded as we go. And I'll start this one up like this and then I will go control F for that one and we are going to write offset by five I think five would be enough now what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to just test this to make sure that it's going to work so if I start and lower that one and we let the next one come along is an offset of five going to be enough I'm not sure of that. And also, is the other follow me tractor going to... Right, off offset of five is close, actually. I think maybe we could go to six. We might be able to offset to six. So if I go um, to control and then if I offset six like that, move this one forward a bit. Just want to go in a straight line. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do anything fancy just yet. Right, an offset of six does seem to work. I mean, they do have to bounce around quite a bit in order to stay kind of on on track. But I think that should be okay. So let's just go over here. We'll go to an offset of six point five, and I'm also going to move forward by five. Is that going to be sufficient? I think that will be okay. Right, I'll get the rest of them offset by 6.5 and running behind the other machine by 15 and hopefully that will work i'm just getting the final tractor into place it's taken a little while to get it set up but we're getting there i've got them they're, they're sort of coming around the corner at the moment but that's not really an issue i don't think if we do miss a little bit of hay here and there it's not really going to matter all that much because it's kind of we um, we'll figure out a way to get more hay if we need to so let me just do control f to follow that one i then need to move in to 6.5 and i'm a head distance is 15. now i'm hoping that i haven't that having the head distance like this is not going to cause any problems now we go to the front one now this is going to cause some major lag. There is no question in my mind whatsoever that this is going to cause some serious lag. All I want though is for these tractors to just start moving. If they can just start moving all of them in a line, that would be absolutely fantastic. And it looks like they're thinking about it. They're definitely thinking about it. They've got to sort of straighten up and get themselves in going in the right direction and everything. And it is going to be a little bit bouncy for them because they are all driving over the previous row. But it looks like it's actually working. We've got 10 tractors all rolling a row, one behind the other. So let me just slow down a little bit so that um, the ones behind can catch up. And then we'll let them all kind of stop and we'll see how they do that one's coming up now they are going to go a little bit fast in places 
but it's still ro it's still rolling it all of it across. I've missed. There's a couple little bits being missed here and there. It might be that 6.5 is a little bit too far. We might need to go back a little bit more than that. We might need to go to six or even to five and a half because now we're starting to get some serious quantities of hay getting gathered up. Yes, it's, it's missing a bit. I think we're going to need to move it back a little bit, although even that is going to cause us some problems. Um, although now it's sort, of, it's sort of hanging over the side. There's one more behind it. He's just straightening up. Yeah, now, now we're getting the problems. We're, we're leaving a lot of hay behind here. So let's just go back up through. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try going up across this field as fast as I can. I'm just, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go in a reasonably straight line. Go for it. Let them all follow me. It is going to cause a little bit of lag, but we can live with that. And then when we get down to the end of the field, we're going to make the turn. And we've got to start slowly sort of getting around the field and it's going the other direction that we're going to have our biggest problems because of the way that the um the map works with the, the whole issues with uh picking up grass that's going to be a slight problem but i think we we can sort of work around that we we don't mind slight problems slight problems we have now sort of developed a way of overcoming some of these slight problems i mean what we could do is perhaps get a baler going following if we removed like the back one and we could get a baler going with a really wide pickup and do it like that that might i mean the small baler does have a really wide pickup and i'm quite liking the idea of using the really small baler at the moment and if we come along and we do some more later on we could get a different type of baler and have some bigger bales because i know that there are quite a few of you who have said that you'd like to see some bigger bales being used because it you know it's, it's all great and all being using the small bales but as we've got the developer's um, tools so that we are able to use bigger bales if we want to, it would be nice to actually see them being used. I'm going to ignore that little bit of hay down the side because of, it's just going to get in the way. So if I could come up here, I want to get round the corner and start heading up in this direction. And then we can go and watch the other tractors and see how they cope with getting round the corner and moving on forward a little bit some of those tractors behind us now look like they're struggling so let's just go straight back to that one that's not a problem neither is that one this one here is now coming up around the corner and that's where we're going to start getting problems is when they go around the corner too fast we've got one there that went way too fast those are getting stuck quite a long way behind yeah see that they're it's where they go around the corner a little bit that they start to have some issues, like this one here. This one's getting some problems. It's going to be very interesting to see what it's going to do on the next time around the field. And at the moment, it's still picking everything up. And there we go. That one's kind of lost everything that it was doing, but he's, he stopped in time. This one's... Okay, that's going to cause some problems. What are you going to do? You're also causing some problems, and you are probably going to do the same. So bring that one up. I think we're going to need to make some <laughs> we're going to need to make some adjustments on this bit because of the way that they've all gone. Right, that is all of them. So this is the one that's going to cause the problem. The rest are then going to sort of be stuck behind it. So what we need to do is we need to move this one on a little bit so that I can start those other ones moving. And I don't need to go very far. I just kind of step it a little bit to a time, I think. We go back to that one. That one's moving. That one's moving. This is the next one that's got to move. And is it going to... Yeah, it's going to struggle with this. So what I'll do... Actually, will it just pull through? It might just allow us to just, just kind of drag it through without having any problems. Doesn't look like it, though. So if I turn off the follow me on that a second and try to just pull it through manually is it going to work i think i need to make some alterations on how we've done this maybe if we go uh, take the offset back to 5.5 and also i think we want to change the offset to 20 so i'm going to make these alterations on all of the tractors a minute i'm going to have to turn each of these off and then I'll get back to you and we can carry on our rounds around the outside of the field. I've almost got this last little bit done. We just need to go forward a little bit more. I've pulled them all back a bit and I've 
altered the offset as well slightly so they're not offset quite as much um it does mean uh, going mean, at the front it makes sort of no real difference but as you move back i think it's going to make a significant difference because of the sheer quantity of material that each tractor is having to move so we move back with that one that one's doing okay this one here that one's got a little bit of an issue there and then we've got this last one hopefully he will be able to go forward ah i see so what I need to do is I need to flick forward through all of these a minute and we'll just move this one forward a tiny bit and then we want to flick back through them as quickly as we can so that we can see how the back tractor responds to the changes. So I'll just break there and now flick back through them. There we go. And we can watch them all take off in front of us. They'll all start to move and hopefully this one will be able to go and it will move that huge great big pile of grass. <laughs> it does it. It's actually moved it. Oh, that's brilliant. And, I mean, now that the, the direction that we're going, it is going to cause a few problems, I think. But I think overall, we're not doing too bad here. So let's flick back through them all like this. And we're going to go to the end of this row. We're going to then slow down a great deal before we get to the end of the row so that the tractors behind don't try to go around the corner too fast because that was the problem with the last corner was they went too fast and then they couldn't get around the corner properly so i want to go right down almost to a stop here and then i want to inch forward just a little bit as we go around the corner because the last thing i want is for any of our tractors to go sliding into the gorge which is going to cause some serious issues if that's what they try to do but if we go just inch through like this i'm hoping that they will all follow suit and we will be able to do this bit without any problems. But you can see that we're leaving bits behind. So when we come back across here again, we will run over this same area again. And hopefully that will make a difference. And I'm just going slowly so that all of those tractors behind us will do much the same. I'm leaving a little bit behind. I'm going to speed up a bit now. I think we can get away with it. I want to move I, I do want to move far enough past the corner so that all of those tractors can actually follow us and it doesn't matter if we don't gather up hay with all of it so if I sort of move like this but I don't do any sharp turns and I just kind of go at a gentle curve it should then work so we come back through that one's doing fine this is where we've got the speed and we could have some problems so I want to go right the way back and see what these are doing We've got a tractor that looks like... Yeah, they're, they're now trying to turn the corner too sharp. And this is what's going to cause them some problems. Um, now, is that tractor... See, I don't know why this one is... He should be following the one directly behind us. Uh, the, the one directly in front of us. But that one there has now decided he's... No, don't go in the water! Oh, no! Right, let's... Uh, no, no, control F. Where are you going? Okay, uh, I want to move to that one and I want to go control F. Can you move back? Nope, you are hopelessly stuck. So what we'll do with this one is we will go and jump it up out of the ditch like this. If I can just jump that one up to there, unfold it again, then I can move forward. He should be okay. So I don't know why it's doing that. It's it seems to get them really really confused unless i've got like some of them not uh, not following the the one directly in front and that's kind of what they're doing is, is screwing up the pathfinding a bit that might be something to do with it i mean i don't think it is because of how i've sort of set it so let's just go control f yeah right leader i right there we should be following him okay and 20 with a 5.5 offset so now i'll come to this one and we go to the next leader this one is still swapping just fine so i will go here and it does matter where you point the tractor when you do this and i go leader d right so that one should be okay as well so quite why the pathfinding does those weird things i'm not really sure nevertheless it is working so we can move forward a bit i don't want to go too far at the moment because we want to Nip back to the end of the line again and just make sure that they're all going to follow forward. 
And then we've got to try to get round some more corners. So we come back through. These are all going okay. That last one there is kind of the, the big problem. But he's done the job. He has done the job. He's gotten through. He's going to move round. And we're leaving a lot. There, there's a lot of little bits being left behind. That is to do with the map and the way that it works. The whole um, issue with the four times map. So let's go racing up through to the front. Now we're just going to go as fast as we can. Run right down to the other end. And like I've said frequently, it doesn't really matter at this point because this is kind of, this is a piece that we will do over again. And then it's the other side of the map. I, I do want to do one more pass on that before we finish up today's episode. A lot of today's episode was kind of getting this all set up and in place. So I might do a little bit more of this in tomorrow's episode. But what I'm going to do now is we do have to get round a corner here. So we're going to try to do this on a gentle curve again. And hope that the ones behind aren't going to go too crazy with the way that they do their turns as they come up round their corners. And they're, they're a long, long way behind us. You can see them on the map, but you can't see them any closer than that. So if I just move forward a little bit more, and I think I will stop about there. And I can move back to that one. How fast is it going to come up to us? This is why you need the 20 times forwards, um, the, the space. Because it gives them time to be able to stop and slow down. That's working well. That one's doing fine. And we've got some more at the back here. These are doing okay as well. Now, because I haven't sort of gathered up very much grass with this particular pass, it seems to have sort of done okay. And you, we've got this slightly sharper corner as we come in now. Where's the back one? Right, this is the back one. This is kind of the biggest test, is seeing how this one copes with it. And I mean, maybe it would have worked better if we'd used the rolling tractors to do this rather than these John Deere's. But I did want to bring the John Deere's out again because I had so many of you complaining when I uh, sold the John Deere's. A lot of you seem genuinely heartbroken that I had sold those John Deere's. So for that reason, I have decided to bring these back and we're going to use them a little bit more if we can. And there's no guarantee that we'll be using them all the time. So it, we, we've, ha we've kind of run out of time. So my weekly question for this week is, do you want me to finish up on this map in just another couple of weeks and then move on to something new? I don't know what it will be. I'll just randomly pick a map. It's not going to be up for um, a question or anything like that. It'll just be whatever I happen to feel like doing on when I'm looking for a map. Um, or would you rather I waited until the 16 times Australian map that I have talked about previously is uh, finally ready for release and then just move straight to that one or would you prefer that instead of those two options i wait until the new dlc is ready and available which is the one set in south america with the sugarcane and all of that and i use that as the next map that we go to with our unrealistic series so that's going to be about two months away so it's your vote, it's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Now, let's move back through. This is where it gets a bit tricky, is it goes to this corner. They come up way too fast on the corner, and the pathfinding then gets completely messed up. Uh, like that one there. This Oh, because they got stuck in the mud. But they did actually get through the mud, so I am kind of impressed with that bit. Um... We've got one there that has decided to just go off into the wide blue yonder. And I'm not really sure why. So if I can just bring this one around, I might be able to persuade the ones that decided to follow it off over this way to go in the right direction. Bring you back over here. Are you going to do this properly? don't think it is. I'm aware that we've got a bale there. I don't really want to have that bale kicked away. And nope, you're just going to get stuck as well. I wanted to try to finish getting around this field before we finish this episode. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. It also looks like using 10 is a bit of a struggle. So what I'll do is I'm going to have to stop that one following. And I'm going to have to get the rest following. So, yeah, we will do some more of this in tomorrow's episode. And then we will take a look at using just a few of these to go around the field and have the baler follow along behind and do some baling at the same time. I think that could be an interesting way of doing it. Um, 
but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.